Good morning and welcome to a cool smartphone video. Today we are going to be unboxing the Nexus 6P. Now this is a review sample so the box has actually been already opened. Um, so let's get into it. And I have to thank the guys from Huawei for actually getting this sent through for us. So let's open up the top. Now, you may have seen other unboxing videos um, on the web and they all go through bend tests and things like that. I'm not going to be doing that. If you want bend tests, then you know where to find them. Um, on top of the box, we have a little quick start guide uh, which talks about how you plug everything in. Um, we'll just move away from that. And then you've got your phone um, at the top here. Get that out and we'll move that to the side. And then you've got a free 90 days of play music. Fairly standard for Nexus uh, devices when you buy them now. Then you've got a little um, booklet which has various bits and pieces, your SAR information and things that's going to be in there. And you've also got your little pin to get the SIM tray in and out. Underneath that, we have a USB-C to micro to full-size standard USB. Quite a short cable, but that's quite handy um, if you're going to plug this into a computer. That is different from the Nexus 5X. You don't get that with the 5X. We then have our power supply, which, as you can see, is a micro USB Type-C output on the power supply and capacities of that are output 5 volts and 3 amps don't know if you can quite see that but it is a flip out style one so good for traveling and then your main charge cable which actually has got quite a bit of length on it um, and it is again USB-C USB, -C, USB um, micro but type C again and that's double ended so you've got a double ended micro USB C type C cable there which has got about a meter's length to it. I'm not going to take it out of the uh, just now so let's put all of this away and we will move on to what we really want to see which is of course the Nexus phone so we'll pop all that off to the side so just take it out of its uh, protective cover here. So, as you can see, I do have the aluminium, or some people are calling this the white version. Okay. Um, it feels really, really nice. It feels like a good premium body design. Um, nice have a bit of heft to it actually um, which is slightly reassuring some um, commenters have said this feels too light I disagree I feel it think it feels just right for a phablet down at the bottom you've got your micro USB type C charging port and headphone um, break point sorry antenna break points on the left the right hand side you have your power down sorry volume down volume up and power up the top again you've got your antenna break points and your three and a half mil headphone jack on the right hand side that is your tray for your micro sorry your nano sim there is no micro sd card um, available on this device as is the case with the 5x around the back we have our nexus imprint um, fingerprint reader um, which if it's anything like the 5x will be very very fast the um, Nexus logo which is now flush um, it's not embossed anymore and you've got a noise cancelling mic up at the top here you've got your dual LED flash and then your 12.7 megapixel camera which does have your f2.0 uh, for your aperture and the 1.4 ultra megapixels in there as well. Um, I've got high hopes for this camera. It'll be interesting to compare it with my Z5. 
Up front, you've got two forward-facing speakers. Um, I have heard stories that the top one is the louder and the bottom one is slightly quieter. And then you've also got your 8 megapixel front-facing camera and array of sensors um, and things like that. So let's get this powered on quickly. Now I have booted this up, I have been using it, um, I've actually been using it to do a battery rundown and initial impressions of that battery rundown were very, very good. Um, during my usual working day I would normally run out my Z5 by the time I go to bed. Um, by the time I got back uh, last night from work, which was around about 7 o'clock, I took it off at 7 a.m. I was just tipping over 50%. Um, the battery then did ultimately die at around about quarter to two in the morning after I had been binge watching some Halo videos, uh, which isn't what I normally do with my phone. So if I had just put it um, down and gone to bed like a normal person, um, then I would not have had to charge this this morning. Uh, to use this. Screen on time unfortunately I wasn't able to capture that yesterday but when I looked at it um, at 50% I was around about 2 hours and 26 minutes um, with 50% battery drain and that was using 4G and 3G and GPRS um, and also Wi-Fi um, syncing a couple of email accounts uh, an hour and a half of music service etc etc so let's just quickly go in and see if it has kept any of that information from uh, my battery rundown. Hopefully it has, but probably not. And no, it's not. Okay. So, not a problem. Um, I'll just have to run it down again. Uh, so as you can see here, very, very clean Nexus style interface. This is the new app launcher with your search functionality at the top and your um, up and down scrolling of your apps. Um, I quite like it, to be honest. Um, I was never a huge fan of the sideways scrolling. Um, HTC did do the up down scrolling, but they messed it up with folders. This is, is quite nice. It uh, takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got used to it, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good happy medium. Um, up here in the top four you have recently used apps which is quite a handy thing to have. Um, your multitasking works exactly the same way as it did on previous devices. Um, again there is something missing here and that is the ability to close all. Um, either that or I just haven't found it yet. The OK Google, as you can see that works absolutely fine. and um, your Google Now is there as well. I'm not going to go into the software in any more detail other than that because um, I will do that in the full review. One thing I do want to say is the fingerprint sensor on this is rapid. So from me touching to unlock, so touching now, unlocked. It's that quick. Okay, I've been really really impressed with that especially over the Z5 where it requires a a press and then hold your finger in place to unlock it. Uh, this I think is a much better solution and more akin to what they did on the Huawei Mate S. Okay so that's just a quick unboxing there of the Nexus 6P. Uh, there will be a full review coming out soon on that. Um, if you've got any questions please feel free to put them in the comments down below this video down there somewhere. And if you would like to see more content from CoolSmartphone.com, please subscribe over at the links just over here. And also like and dislike there as well. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers, bye.